So Polar Pro have very kindly sent me their new Mavic 3 filters and these filters are absolutely exceptional and today I'm going to tell you why and there's a few special effects filters included in this kit that have just got me so excited when I'm out flying my drone about the creative possibilities and I think they'll excite you too. So let's jump in and take a look at these filters. So full disclosure, Polar Pro have sent me these filters for free. They've sent me the director's collection to try out with my Mavic 3 and I have to say I am blown away by the build quality. These filters are exceptional and I'm going to be showcasing them and telling you why but also just the creative possibilities these filters offer outside of the normal VNDs or polarizing filters. There's a few in here that are just really exciting to use when you're out flying your drone. So before I tell you the filters that's included in the kit and kind of go into a bit more detail, I just have to say, look at the case. How beautiful is this case? It's not just a generic case that sometimes you get filters in. This has been designed clearly and this looks premium. These filters are no doubt premium and this case just reflects that. They just make you want to use them. They just make you want to put this in your backpack when you're going out with your drone. Beautifully designed case. And that's kind of reflected when you come to then look at the filters themselves. So if I open the case up, you'll see that these filters are beautifully presented in the case and they are exceptionally well made. Polar Pro calls these filters their Airframe 4.0 filters. They say it's their lightest and boldest aluminium or aluminium, depending how you want to say it, frame filters yet. And I have to say they feel it. They feel absolutely exceptionally well made. They feel like a premium filter for a premium drone such as the Mavic 3. And when you put them on your drone, they look incredible. It really sets the Mavic 3 off. It, they just look great on the drone. But it doesn't really matter how they look, it's how they perform. And so how many fillers do you get? Well, Polar Pro sent me the Director's Collection. And this comes with nine fillers. But I want to tell you specifically about some of the fillers and specifically some of the special effects fillers. So a couple of ones I've been really enjoying using. The first is the Blue Morphic filler. So what is a Blue Morphic filler? Well, so a blue morphic is basically a streak filler. And what it does is it adds flares and streaks to light sources to mimic that anamorphic look without having to use an anamorphic lens. And if you've ever used an anamorphic lens, you have to stretch that footage back out in post. You don't have to do any of that with this blue morphic filler. It's really fantastic. And it adds a really nice blue flare or blue streak to really strong light sources. So I went out and I tested this on my car and it just looks so good. It just, any strong light source, it will add a flare to. And this just gives you lots of creative possibilities. You know, you, you could go out with a torch, street lamps, anything like that. And these work really great in low light scenarios. So this is just a filter I've really enjoyed playing about with and just gives a lot of creative possibilities. The next is it comes with a mist filter. So a mist filter is a filter which gives like a dreamy, smooth, hazy look to your highlights. It just makes them look soft and really cinematic. You know, if you have a strong light source, instead of that light source being really sharp, it kind of makes it hazy and softer and just gives like a really cinematic look to your footage. The next is the gold morphic filter. Now this actually works the same as the blue morphic filter, except you get gold streaks. And actually I've also found you can get red streaks with it. It's supposed to give you gold streaks, but I find if the light source is really red, you actually get really nice red streaks as well, such as the, the tail lights of cars. And again, this is gonna add that anamorphic style flare to really strong light sources. So think your car headlights, think your street lights, torches, even the sun, the gold works really well for the sun. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance yet to get a really sunny day or a really nice sunset. I'm dying to try this one out in them scenarios. But I find even with a little bit of sun in the sky, you can still get that really nice gold flare attached to the sun. Then you also get two VND filters. Now, I'm not going to go into what a neutral density or ND filter is in this video. I've covered it a bunch of times before. The short version is it basically is a pair of sunglasses for your camera drone sensor. And it allows you to run a lower shutter speed by keeping the image perfectly exposed to give motion blur. That's as short a version as I can make it. And in this kit, you get a VND. So what's a VND? Well, it's a variable neutral density filter. There's actually a dial you can turn on the filters, which allow you to darken or lighten the effects of the ND filter. There's a two to five stop and a six to nine stop. And 
the dial, the variableness of it just allows you to really nail your exposure. Then you get three ND fillers with polarization. You get an ND8, an ND16, and an ND32. And these ND fillers have polarization, which helps reduce glare. So a polarizing filter or a polarizing ND filter is really good for cars. That's a, an example I've been using them a lot on as it helps cut down the reflections on the glass. But it's also good for things like water, sky, building, street shots, anywhere where there's a lot of reflections or a lot of glare, the polarization cuts down on that and just gives you a much cleaner and crisper looking image. And lastly, you get a CP filter, a circular polarizing filter. And this is the same polarization effects I've just talked about, but you can actually turn it to really nail the perfect angle for that polarization effect. And again, that dial is just silky smooth. It doesn't feel cheap. It just feels really well made. The entire kit feels really well made. I can't stress that enough. So in summary, what do I think about these fillers? This kit, this director's collection kit contains any filter you would ever need in any scenario. And not only that, the filters are incredibly well made. The case is incredibly well made and the results you get from them are exceptional. My favorites are the special effects filters. So the blue morphic, gold morphic and mist filters. I've had a ton of fun using them recently and I'm gonna continue using them. I'm still trying to get that perfect sunset for that gold morphic filter. Now it has to be said, this kit is not cheap, but the Mavic 3 is not cheap. And if you want a premium set of filters for your premium drone, this is the kit to get because I think it has everything you would ever need. And like I say, the creative possibilities this kit offers. So again, a big thanks to Polar Pro for sending me out these filters. I put a link down below if you want to go check them out and maybe pick them up yourself. Now, before you go, if you've liked this video and you've learned something new, please make sure to let me know by clicking the thumbs up, that like button down below. And if you like all things drones, I recommend you check out my channel where I have a ton of other content to help you level up your drone game. If you want to see some of them videos now, here's a couple I recommend checking out. I'll not keep you back any further. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you over there.